Hey everyone, it's Kylan, and I'm here filming my April favorites for you guys, and I just took a million thumbnails for this video, so I hope I chose one that you enjoyed and that made you click on this video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around and you click subscribe, which I usually have a link going on throughout the video for you to quickly um, click on so you can subscribe. And also, um, if you are a veteran of my channel, I hope you enjoy my use of the word veteran and you are happy with what you see. So basically I'm gonna get into the makeup products and I know that I can be pretty repetitive in the products that I include in my videos so I really didn't want to overload you guys with a bunch of things that you've already seen and that you really are tired of seeing but obviously that means that I do love them and I'm not just putting them in videos so that you so that it can like fill up space this new product and this is well it's not really new in a sense that I've never tried it before but um, this is a new shade for me and this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion that I'm sure you guys have seen billions of times but it's actually the Primer Potion in the shade Eden which is the matte one that's basically a skin tone shade so it basically just makes it look like you don't have any veins and discoloration. And the really cool thing about this is that it does have a doe foot applicator so it's kind of, I like it more than having to like squeeze it out onto your finger. I don't know, it's pretty techy and also the bottle is very like, I don't know, like Indian, um, like the top is kind of like, looks like Bali to me. I don't know. And then also I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, I mean the name is pretty self-explanatory if you ask me. The wand is really nice. It's just kind of this, um, I don't know, it's a very wet-ish mascara and dry mascaras really don't work for me and super wet mascaras don't work for me either so this formula has been very effective and I, I don't know, I like it. But this is actually something that I kind of picked up as a backup because I didn't have any more of my Anastasia Brow Wiz went to the store and they didn't have it at Sephora, which maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough, but I saw this and I was like, hmm, I guess I'll give something new a try. And so this is the Brett Brow Kick Some Arch um, Brett Friedman Beauty Brow Pencil. And it is double-ended, as you can already tell. And it has a lighter shade and a darker shade. And then it also has this little um, comb at the end and I usually use the lighter shade and I'm in the shade medium brunette and it works really well. I have it on right now. I can't really tell a difference between this and the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And the last makeup product is something that you guys have seen before as well. Probably, I'm actually not sure, but it's very similar to my other concealer. This is the NARS Radiance, I'm pretty sure. Radiance, Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this is in the shade Vanilla, which is actually not the most accurate shade for me because I feel like it is a little bit light or super light but I don't think that you can necessarily tell a huge difference so I don't have a problem with it. Next is a perfume and this is the Bond NYC perfume and I'm sure that you guys have heard of these. They're in like a little star shaped bottle and this is the scent Washington Square and I am in love with this scent. I don't know if it has a description but it is amazing. It's very kind of baby powder-esque, so I don't know if you like that or not, but it's so good and it actually just gave me a headache when I sniffed it like that. But next I'm going to move on to my fashion favorites. So first I have been really loving um, rompers. I'm sure if you guys saw my spring lookbook then you noticed that I put a romper in there that I have talked about before and I really love it. So today I'm going to show you guys a different romper that I also love. This is a black romper and I think that it's a brand Micah and Gala, which I'm not sure what that is and I don't know where I got it. I think I got it from LF, but it just looks very simple on the top and then at the bottom I will stand up and show you. It comes down like that and of course it comes down a little bit farther in the middle because that's where the shorts are and then it has this really cute detailing which is just this kind of um, crochet look and I really like this the only thing is that it's a little bit short so I mean it's a lot short so I have to wear usually like a sweater or something to like cover up my arms usually because that's kind of that's the kind of person I am like if I show more of one thing I'll show less of the other um, because usually that's how it works you just kind of 
balance it out but yeah I really like wearing this and I think that it goes with a lot of different choices and can style it a lot of different ways. The next pair of shoes are the shoes that were featured in my spring lookbook. Again, um, I will link that video down below if you didn't see it. You should check it out. I worked really hard on that video and I would love to get some of your feedback and I would love to just see um, how you liked it. But this is these are my Prada shoes and they are just these little sandals that I adore and they just look like this. They are very simple and very, very comfortable and cute and I... Um, I think they just look really cute with shorts and dresses and rompers especially which is why I included them in this video. Another thing I absolutely love is my Chloe Marcy medium bag and my necklace is stuck in it and this is um, the gray one and I love gray. I am tempted to say that it's I'm tempted to say that it's my favorite color but one people would be like that's a shade and then two uh, Blue has been my favorite color since childhood, so I feel like changing that is literally going to change like my soul. So I am going to stick with blue, but I do love gray, and gray is second to blue. And this is just a great, great bag. Everything about it is amazing, and I, I can't talk enough about it. Next, I'm going to move on to kind of a food slash drink favorite, but I only, I don't even know what that was, but I am only going to call it like a, a drink favorite because it is a drink and this is the Lipton green tea and it's probably really bad for you because the second highest ingredient is high fructose corn syrup so that's always good but I can't stop drinking it so I won't and I'm pretty sure it's an addiction and I'm probably gonna have withdrawals if I even try cutting 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 this out of my life and also something I wanted to Put in this video um, for kind of techie stuff is my Apple watch it's super super cool it has my calendar my clock and then it alerts me of my calendar events that are coming up and it also has the weather the activity that I've done and the battery life the um, I do love the watch it is kind of pricey for uh, the I guess use of it in a sense that it's kind of like a phone and that you can call and text people but um it is pri it is pricey for a watch i really like it and i think it's cool to play with and customize and it also alerts you of your events takes your pulse so it's really cool if you're like a health freak and you love doing stuff like that and you can also scroll through your newest instagrams like the five newest ones that are on your feed and i personally am somebody who does that um, in class and also it um, notifies you it's really weird it's a weird feeling when it notifies you um, because it like has this thing called haptic and so it like kind of jolts your arm not like jolts but it just like vibrates a little bit and yeah um, I haven't figured out all the perks of it yet but I do like the way it looks the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is my music favorites so I'm going to go ahead and go onto my playlist and I'm going to pick three songs only because I don't want to go crazy with music because I do want to have a playlist video so um, I'm definitely going to do that next but my three favorite songs this week the first one is kind of super mainstream and it plays on the radio all the time but since I don't listen to radio I can play it whenever I want so I don't get annoyed of it but it is Riptide by Vance Joy and I absolutely adore this song and so I thought that I would throw it in here. Another song I've been loving is Phoenix by Laura Doggett and it's a very kind of dark and twisted song but I love the way that she sings and so I really like it. And another, my last favorite song is Black Flies by Ben Howard and this song has definitely been one of the most played songs if not the most played song and it's just one of those kind of deeper songs that I don't understand but that I like singing to um, and so yeah that those are the music favorites that I wanted to include in this video so I hope you guys enjoyed make sure that if you did enjoy it you give it a thumbs up and you stick around and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time bye